Hello YouTube and welcome back to Controller Chaos and as was previously noted on the last episode unfortunately enough my WaveBird's parts are just kind of getting crappy you know you know how it is just this thing's old and I use it pretty frequently it's pretty much the main pad for my GameCube uh, or when I'm playing GameCube games so I wanted to find a you know replacement set of buttons and everything and on eBay, I found this replacement set of buttons for a couple dollars, and I figured, why not? Uh, I'd get these and tell you guys if they were worth it or if they were, you know, just another piece of cheap Chinese plastic crap. Let's find out. All right, so you guys are probably wondering, how am I getting these fancy clear blue buttons inside my controller? And well... To take apart a GameCube controller, you're going to need one, possibly two tools, okay? So the first thing you're going to need is what's referred to as a tri-wing screwdriver. Let's see if we can get that in the frame. See how it only has those three points. And the second thing is optional depending on what you want to do. So this is a pretty a standard small Phillips head screwdriver and you will only need one of those if you're replacing your shoulder buttons if you're not then you don't need it now i'm not going to walk you guys through how to disassemble a gamecube controller because there's tons of videos on how to do it online but uh just know you know take your tri-wing remove these eight buttons on the back and then you know, uh, just remove the front faceplate on the controller and you're ready to switch out your buttons. Alright, so as you guys can probably tell, I got my controller all taken apart and everything. And uh, so for comparison's sake, uh, here's the, you know, the original thumbstick for the controller and everything. You know, you can see it has the nice little cutout, the nice little slit and everything. Looks pretty good. And then here's our replacement. Uh, this actually looks pretty one-to-one, -one, pretty identical. They even got the slit. Uh, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but so with most GameCube, you know, replacement thumbsticks, they don't get that slit down and, you know, they just feel really bad. But this one doesn't feel bad just from feeling it right there. But you know performance and everything is a huge difference and then looking at the buttons so here's the standard a button okay then here's their a button and again not really sure how well this will come out but as you can see the standard a buttons a little bit raised and then the new new one is just completely flat um so the buttons look a little different, but I'm sure they feel the same and everything. Uh, let's see, this does not include contact pads, so if you need new ones of those, you just have to buy them on Amazon or eBay, wherever you buy those from. Um, yeah, so I think I might actually switch out my shoulder pads just because I want to clean my controller shell. And, you know, if I'm cleaning the shell, I may as well. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you guys after I get the buttons and everything put in. Alright, so I'm back. I cleaned my controller. It feels, you know, it feels all squeaky clean. And I did in fact put the shoulder buttons in, as you guys can probably tell. But you guys are probably going to wonder about the Z and the start button. So I have the Z, or the start button right here, and the Z button right here. So. I knew about this before this video that the Z button wouldn't work. Uh, there's some modifications that you have to do to it to get it uh, inside the controller and everything. Uh, there's this guy named Shinji who made a video about that. I'll link his video in the description. Uh, but if you want the Z button in, you just got to do some modification. I didn't want to do that because my Z button is fine. Uh, but as for the start button, this may actually surprise you guys, but with the WaveBird, the WaveBird used a longer start button, so uh, you actually need the longer start button in order for the start to work. 
So you actually have to use the standard wave bird uh, start button on this one. But, you know, that's whatever. That's fine. Uh, it doesn't, it actually, you know, the white kind of mesh, meshes with this blue. So that's fine by me, in my opinion. Uh, so the buttons feel really, really good, actually. Uh, a lot better than what I expected when uh, I consider what I paid for it. I think I paid, I paid $10 for these, which is actually more than what they go for, but uh, I bought them from Canada because I wanted them to get here faster, and you know. So the buttons feel a lot better than what I would expect, and even the shoulder buttons feel pretty dang good. Um, they're a little bit more rigid, but I have heard that uh, they get better after some wear. My one complaint is the D-pad. The D-pad is very bad. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's the Wave Bird or something, but uh, yeah, it just does not feel like a standard. It moves and stuff like that. It does not feel like a standard GameCube D-pad, but I mean, to be fair, you're, you never you never use a d-pad on a gamecube controller if you do it's it's very rare but so the two biggest concerns you know the thumbstick and the c-stick you know those are the two easiest things to mess up with these things and they're typically the worst part of using you know these cheap chinese parts and i gotta say the the thumbstick and the c-stick both are pretty dang close to one to one you know like so Oh, you know, that's, oh my gosh, that's how, you know, OEM parts sound, you know, uh, they don't rub against the octagonal gate or anything like that, they sound like OEM parts, they even kind of feel like it just because of the, uh, thumbstick and everything, so, so far, I, I gotta recommend it, I mean, I'm going to test it out, we're gonna get some gameplay going, and, you know, after that, I'll go into my closing parts, but so far, you guys, I think this one was a winner. Alright, so the first game up that I decided to play was Bomberman Generation, of course, because, well, you know, I'm already playing it for the review, so I figured I'd, you know, just play it a little bit with these buttons, because I've ironically been using these buttons for about a week now, and I gotta admit, after a week, I'm really digging the feel of these, you know? The thumbstick feels pretty close to OEM, in my opinion, and so do the buttons and everything else, so, uh, for the first check, it gets a uh, check plus, I guess. The next game I decided to play was Metroid Prime, and the reason why I played Metroid Prime was because I know it's a game that uses the shoulder buttons pretty heavily, and I just wanted to make sure that the shoulder buttons felt pretty close to OEM, and again, you know, they feel good, you know, they feel close to OEM in my opinion, and I think for, you know, just these really cheap buttons that I bought on eBay, I think that that's something to brag about, honestly. Now then, lastly, I played some Super Smash Bros. Melee. And why did I play Melee? Well, honestly, I don't really know. It just sounded like it'd be fun, and it was kind of fun, you know? Uh, Melee's a good game. Uh, but yeah, again, you know, buttons felt pretty close to OEM. They did feel a little stiff when I first put them into the controller, but now that it's been a week, you know, they've, I think, broken in. And, you know, it's just good buttons, as weird as it may sound, even though they're you know, cheap and from China. <laughs> so I think these are worth the money, you guys. So overall, can I recommend these uh, cheap Chinese GameCube controller buttons? Stunningly? Yeah, these things are really good. Uh, I'm really surprised by them. In fact, I ordered a couple of her pairs. Uh, so yeah, these are kind of ace, honestly. They're the buttons feel pretty decent, albeit a little cheap. The thumbstick feels great. That's the biggest thing, is the thumbstick they give you is just fantastic feeling. And the C-stick feels all right. You know, everything feels pretty good and how it should. So if you're looking for cheap, chi for cheap GameCube button replacements, look into these. They're about five bucks on eBay. You know, a uh, good way to restore your controllers, in my opinion. So, that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. Be sure to like it down below. Be sure to comment and subscribe for more. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you want to interact or whatever. 
And I want you all to have a wonderful day, YouTube, and peace.